Welcome back to my Road to Max series, where in the last episode we farmed a lot of crops for squash and upgraded from crappie to squash armor in the quest for the rare Fermento. In this episode, we're going to unlock two new plots, because the odds of getting this Fermento we need from sugarcane, mushroom, or cactus are very low. And to upgrade our armor, we'll need to take nine of these, craft a condensed Fermento, and use eight of those to get the best farming armor in Hypixel. Let's get started. Now you've read the title, but I have no idea if we're going to be able to finish this quest in one video. I started off by topping my composter up and drinking my first evolved bottle of Jere. Each time I drink one of these, it boosts my intelligence, which basically means mana, up by 300 for an hour, and gives me a permanent plus one mana for the first five that I drink. I kept four of them and insta-sold the last four for just over 12 and a half million. Now we have a lot of play money. I deposited the majority of it to start earning more interest in the bank and spent a million on Volta fuel so we can keep our compost running even in the background while we work. I collected the compost and traded it in to unlock a new plot. Before I can use it for my garden, the plot needs to be cleaned. Now that it's cleaned, I made an extension of the farm next to it, but as soon as I did that, I realized a mistake I had made. The nether wart farm on it is not efficient enough to last through one of Jacob's competitions, so I had to fix that. I started by removing the row that has multiple crops, which I was only using to refill my agronomy sack when it was low, and while doing that, I accidentally won bronze in Jacob's contest for potatoes. I just drained the water, placed soul sand in other words, and copied the plot next to it. If you remember in the last episode, I said this. There are a few things that I am lacking though. I don't have equipment meant for farming. So I want to work on that. I did a bit of research about farming pets and found out that occasionally the traveling zoo comes to town and I could buy a legendary elephant pet that gives all kinds of farming fortune. I also considered the mushroom cow but decided to farm 8 stacks of enchanted dark oak just in case I found the legendary elephant up for trade. I drank my second bottle of jerry and I set off to the dark thicket to farm. It didn't take long until I reached foraging level 22 and got in a friendly conversation where uh, an oddball miscommunication took place and I was given free polished pumpkins. After thanking him and him being cool being in the next video, he tried to give me some nice reforged starting equipment for farming. Now I'm really awkward when it comes to gifts and people being super nice to me. Thank you irrational anxiety. So I would feel really bad if I just kept taking things from someone. I only learned later that this actually costs over 850 copper from the Skymart. Yeah, I accidentally scammed him and didn't even mean to. I thanked him again and told him he's a chad before finishing my enchanted dark oak quest. I then spent a bit more time researching farming pets and saw the mushroom pet that I had disregarded earlier actually had another perk that gave a chance to get mushrooms with every full grown crop I break. I saw dollar signs in my eyes and I made a beeline to get this pet. I was nearly foaming at the mouth thinking about all the free money I'm going to make with it. I wasted no time at all and got straight back to farming where I leveled my pet up almost immediately to 9 when I got my first Fermento. Up to level 10, 11, 12, another Fermento and so on. I kept going until my Mushroom reached level 19 just in the span of a few minutes when I decided that this sugarcane farm just isn't cutting it. I'm a man of efficiency and I tried to design a single plot farm that would contain cactus, sugarcane, and mushrooms in the same plot with our own levels. I was reaching far into my own mind to try to make this work with a 10 block build limit on the garden. And while brainstorming during a melon session, I accidentally got the bronze medal in the mushroom contest without realizing it. I have no regrets with this mushroom pet at all. After thinking for a while, I realized that it doesn't matter to try to make all three farms with some janky system because I'm already collecting mushrooms passively. I decided to make a sugarcane and cactus farm instead.
This simple farm took over four hours to build, judging by the replays that I recorded. I can't tell you how much I hated the color green while I was placing the sugar cane. Everything was just so green and I kinda hated it. You wanna know what I hate even more? Some of you may have already caught it. I drank my third bottle of Jerry and saved my plot all before realizing that I had built the entire cactus farm one block too high. I'll spare you the lengthy bits, so I spent more time breaking my cactus farm completely down and rebuilding it correctly. I then farmed some sugar cane and jumped in the nether wart contest in the last five minutes to get the bronze medal. Then I turned around to hit a personal best in sugar cane with 208,000. I drank my fourth bottle of jerry and kept farming. A while later I set out and sold my polished pumpkins and bought an extra super compactor. I served the visitors I had waiting in line and I made a decent chunk of copper from there. It was time to collect the resources from my minions, and I made advancements in five collections, allowing me to craft the Feather Ring. At this point, I had been farming about four hours straight, so I took a quick break and decided to play some party games. I've never tried out this part of Hypixel and ended up getting first place. With a bit of happy chemical in my brain, I went back to the grind and got Bronze and Melon with 425k. I PB'd in Nether Wart for the Bronze Medal with 388k. I got Silver and Sugar Cane PB'ing again with 224k and decided it was time to claim the rewards from all of my contests that I've been in. I combined all of my earned books to the highest tier I could make and went on a mission for upgrades. I crafted a replenish book and bought the mathematical blueprint for the nether wart, Ho specifically. I put harvest on it and went to buy a cultivating book, making a misclick and getting a book meant for a weapon. I'm sure that I'll eventually use it. Anyways, I put that turbo melon 5 book on my melon dicer and realized that I can immediately upgrade my new nether wart hoe. I bought another mathematical hoe blueprint and the cocoa chopper turning the hoe blueprint into the sugar cane hoe. I'll need these in the future when I get serious about collections and want the best in slot items. I drank my final bottle of jerry and reached lapis collection 9 for my minion. I farmed mostly nether warts for the day, getting bronze with 110k and even got a silver medal in cactus before taking a break. I started off day 3 with a bronze medal in cactus in the last 30 seconds of the contest then buying a few cultivating books for my new tools. While farming nether warts, I hit farming level 42 and spent the next 5 hours watching movies with a wife and son on a rainy day, farming on the side. During that time, I PB'd in cactus, nether wart, and carrots, upgraded 2 minions, and went back to get a bronze and cactus. With only 5 of the condensed fermento out of the 8 needed for the upgrade, I took inventory of what else I was going to need. I quickly realized that I had more than enough mutant nether warts for my armor, and that I would need to double down on mushrooms, needing 2 stacks of both enchanted red and brown mushroom blocks. This means I'll need over 650,000 mushrooms. My cow is perfect for extra mushrooms here and there, but not enough for what I'm going to need. I needed to make a dedicated plot for mushrooms, and after spending two stacks of compost, that's exactly what I did. I took inventory and had enough to make the helmet, but I was missing bits and pieces for the rest of the armor. I got a fermento right before I farmed up enough cactus to finish gathering for the chest plate. All I need now is sugarcane and mushroom, barring the 11 fermento left. I spent about 5 hours going back and forth from sugarcane to mushroom, making a PB in sugarcane, securing the silver medal with 240k, but that is academic, because in all that time, this happened. Oh. No way. Fermento is done! 32 more enchanted sugarcane. I'm gonna see where I'm at right now. Nope, wrong one. 11. Oh no, I don't have enough at all. 21. 11 more sugarcane. That's what, 100. 60 times 160 times 11. That's too dang much. Let's get it. Everything is set, and after far too much time, we have everything we need to craft the best farming armor in Hypixel. So let's do it. Dump the extra stuff in here for now, and this 
This is what we have grinded so hard for. Eight condensed fermento. Two stacks of brown and red mushroom blocks. 70 mutant nether warts. A stack and a half of enchanted sugarcane and 25 enchanted cactus. Two condensed fermento. Half a stack of sugarcane. Oh, I forgot the most important part, the actual armor. Let's get that off. The helmet. Half a stack of red and brown mushrooms. Oh, there we go. Carpentry up to 28. Another two condensed fermento. Chest plate goes here. Half a stack of mushrooms each. Half a stack of sugarcane. 15 mutant nether wart here. And the 25 enchanted cactus here. That's the chest plate. Fermento, fermento. Enchanted sugarcane. Pants. More mushrooms, 20 nether warts each spot. Oh, the leggings. Carpentry, 29. Last two, last mushrooms, and the boots. Fermento boots. I want to see how these look. Forbidden fruit unlocked. Wear a full set of fermento armor. This looks pretty cool. I like the red on it. It's got little flowers in the back of the head, too. Combines the tiered bonuses of wearing four pieces of the melon armor, crappie armor, and squash armor. Grants 75 farming fortune. Legendary armor, baby. Hey, if you've made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you for being here with me through this third episode of my Road to Max series. Now from here forward, I've still got a few things left to do in the garden, but I've got a whole lot of other skills that still need to be improved on. Now if there's anything you guys want to see specifically, or if there's anything that you see that I have missed or I can improve upon in my garden, let me know. I'll be keeping an eye out in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to reply to your comments that you leave for me. If you want to swing by my island and see all this stuff for yourself, just hop onto Hypixel Skyblock and run the command Visit BloomTQ. Both my main island and my garden are open for visitors. If you even want to throw suggestions about something to build for pixel art, you can throw that down in the comments as well. Also, before I forget, comparing the money I had at the end of last video to now, at the end of episode 2, I had 36.9 million saved up in my sacks. This episode, I more than doubled that. Without further ado, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to turn notifications on. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.